Hello there and welcome to City Skylines Deepford, episode 11. Does this town look nice and pretty now it's all been built up, eh? Look at that, isn't it just a nice big urban landscape? Until of course you hit the button to see all the trash icons. Why do we have all the trash icons? Well, that's very, very simple. Very, very simple indeed. Indubitably it is. The problem is here. All these cars, they're just not moving very fast. And it's the roundabout. Yep, it's around about the cars are doing this stupid thing where they get themselves stuck and stuff working. I'll be fixing it with lanes, so the cat mixed lanes, but I can't do it anymore. Now, the mod has been updated, but I didn't download it in time, so we don't currently have it available. So, to do what we're going to deal with is we're going to play around with the roads just a little bit, and by just a little bit, and I'm going to actually pause it right at the beginning because the cars will despawn if I don't do this. All entrances are going to have two roads. So, break you, break you. You can come back up a bit further than that actually because of that junction there. Oop, get rid of that entirely. Oop. And this one here is also going away. Now, this road just needs a little tweak to it. It just needs an in and out ramp rather than anything else. This road is actually going to be the, one of the busiest in the area. So I think it would be a good idea to make this a double road all the way down as well. So while we're doing that, any buildings here, police station, that need to be moved off of those side roads. Just pull back there. Get away. And the elementary school can also put there. Just so we can actually expand the road, I don't think anything else. Ah, you, my high school friend. Could you go there? Boop, thank you. And that should be fine. I have to move that back onto the main road, I think, at the end of this, because I wanted it on the main road for a particular reason. But that should be fine. Yes. So, first thing to do, upgrade this long road into a two lane two way with trees. I like trees. Uh, it's not really a boulevard type road, is it? No, let's just put it in a two lane. Hmm. A six lane asymmetric. No, 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 don't do asymmetric. Dude, what's that, by the way? Four lane road with parking spaces supports mid traffic. No. So we'll go boom, 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 boom. And make sure we do it all perfectly. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. I know we have traffic lights on this road. And it's a side effect we're going to have to deal with short term. I am also aware we're using sodium lights. Ugh. Can we have the neutral white? Thank you. I have a feeling I can't agree these again, alright? One second. Do, 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 do. In case you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm, putting, I'm upgrading them all to a different type of road so I can re upgrade them again with the cold white street light, apparently. But no, I wanted the. I don't like the sodium. I want the neutral white, please. And there we go. For, uh, you, neutral white. I don't want grass in the middle of this one. This one's not a place for having grass in the road. This is, this is like a, a highway almost going down the, down, the, down the entire system. And there we go, and they're already done. Right, so we get to here, and roundabout, I need to go to roundabout. So the roundabout will have slip roads, and if it's got a double lane road like this, it'll have two lanes. If it has a single lane road like this, it'll have one lane. So we first need to go to a two lane highway. Now we do actually have, thanks to the mod, this, which is a two lane highway, which is very useful for this particular scenario. So the first thing is you, Go off to there. Boop. And you come from there. Off to there. Boop. So the cat's come off there, go straight out and get moving. We'll have to take the traffic light away. That's what I was worried about before. But we'll be fine. Here we do the same sort of thing. We actually probably need to move these two out of the way. Just back to about there. Because there's going to be a little slip road coming in and they're kind of in the way. And I'll connect those up before we forget to do them. Because I will forget to do them. You know that. Are they lined up? They're not even close to being lined up. Bing. And then you need to move because you're just out of alignment with it, the other one. Already, you already have to by yourself. Just point that out. Line that up to there. Boop. Pipe it in. Pipe it in. Pipe it in. Doop. Done. Right. Now, this one's going to be. They're all just as easy as you can tell you through. One way. Highway. Go from there out to there. Boom. And from there. To, can we go this way? Because that looks really weird doing that. To there. Is this not long enough? This isn't long enough, I don't think. Let me take it back and further. See, that's too... No. I want to be over here. Yeah, I think it's just too short for what I'm asking to do. But if I ask you, come out there. And get it to that. There. And then from there. Get it to the thing. There we go. To there. 
So we have a nice little V-shape. The side where they usually are. Usually a bit shorter though. This side, we do the same thing. Out there. Come on. Back, 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 back. Why go to there? Up here. Bing. And then here we do the same sort of thing. We might actually lose a building in the process. We haven't. Here we definitely will lose a building though. Because I'm going to go from there. To there. Boop. And then from there. To there. Boop. Now, we're going to have to probably make, maybe move some bus lanes around, but actually I think the bus lanes have done themselves quite well. Okay, well actually I think you might need to go a bit further that way though. Boop, there we go. Yeah, those bus lanes are fine. Let's just grab that bus lane for the green. Oh no, the green's coming on, that's fine. Because they come on to there, and so, yeah, it's perfect. I don't need to worry about them. And no routes are being redone. I think they're okay. Alright, so let's see how traffic moves. Uh, oh yeah, traffic lights. I think we'll do a housing tool, please. Traffic light where's the name of the road? There it is. Ah, thank you, Chatter, for reminding me of that bit. I completely forgot to get to that bit. Go away, traffic lights. Uh oop, power for that one in a second. And you are For now we'll turn them off. If we need to turn them on due to congestion problems, we will turn them back on with no major issue. There we go. Right, uh, we have roads here. No, these are not roads, these are the bus lanes most likely that are complaining about being broken. The red one. Now, the red one goes... Should, like, all bus lanes can basically do the same thing. So all come in here and go out. I wonder if it just hasn't been remapped yet. Or is it, it's not a local network. No, it goes out. It definitely goes up there and back around and in. And it, ah, it breaks there. Uh, okay. Bing. Put it there then. That seems to fix itself. I wonder why it can go there. Hmm. And then you're fine here now, red guy? Move it to there? It's fine there. Not quite sure why, but I'm not going to complain about that. There you go. Buses should be doing their job very nicely right now, and hopefully causing congestion problems going. These cars are now indeed moving a lot better than they were. You are just complaining about like a power, really. Not anything else. A lot of these cars now have a big backlog that has to clear down, so we'll come back to this in a little while and see if it's made a difference. I did play around with the setting, by the way. Setting the road to priority road um, actually causes all the road feeding in to have stop signs, which just destroys any traffic flow. Don't use stop signs on this game if it's a high traffic road, because even if this road has nothing coming around here at all, and these cars are all full, every one of them will stop, even though there's no reason to stop. Like in a real roundabout, they see the roads clear here, and then they start setting up anyway. Anyway, we have a similar problem up here with this road roundabout, and I think we'll do the same uh, kind of thing, what we're going to do with it. Although we have a fire over here, so we're going to ignore that for now. And we do the same sort of thing here. So pause, and we can pull this, this actually this wants to be the same dual uh, road like that anyway. Uh, I think we actually want to change some bits around here. I have some plans, I'm going to try them out. So, let's go with two lane highways, up and down here, so same as before basically. Uh, let's keep them in line with these ones if we can. So you straight down to there. Boom. And that horrible, horrible, what the, why? You're always annoying me when you do that game. Game, 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 right. Put it onto that one. Put it up to there, and across to there. No, see, yeah, that, that's the weird thing, look, it's done that real weird, like, weirdness. And that's the real term for it. The really weird weirdness. I know it's, it's got a bit straight bit there now, but that's the game's own fault for making roundabout go wonky. But that's not the right place for it. This one's not the same thing, that's why. Uh, it's just horrible, why? Why game, why? I had a perfectly round roundabout and you went and complained about it. You didn't complain about it, you went and destroyed it. There, and to there. And then we have a straight bit there as well now. Both of them, I will be upgrading that to a proper piece in a moment. Just need to connect up the highway connection. Uh, which will be... Uh, snapping! Go away! Don't snap to grid. Is that right? All the road guidelines. Or anything. Let's just ignore that then and turn it all off. Turn it all back on again. Turn that off. And that one, because that means we don't snap. Right? No, you still snap. Okay, well in that case what we'll do is ignore that and we'll put it here. Uh, give me the... Uh, give me the straight line one. And we'll make it go in line with that road, down to here, and then we can, we can just, just say basically, you know, 
is going to be really awkward, this isn't it? Yep. Alright. So, roundabouts are not going to be rounding them up. They're going to be whatever the, the game lets me have. Uh, it's kind of annoying, so I wanted the roundabouts to be round. Aww. So, you go there, and then you go there. It's going to be round-ish at the moment. You go there, and you go there. And then upgrade to them to uh, three-lane highways, so that they uh, maintain the same type all the way around. You there, you there, you there. I think that's close enough actually to a round as well. Excellent. Uh, and that should do all that, should do all that. That's fine. Should we unpause that now? And that's good. Now, one thing I want to do as well, but it won't actually require me to demolish roads, we can actually redirect the roads, is I'm thinking that any roads here should, on this half, should come and should be forced to use this roundabout. So, normal roads, uh, one way, please. You, uh, I think you, should go that way. And you should also go that way. Forcing anybody on that half of the industrial estate to stay on that half and they use this roundabout at the end. Um, this road here, Chattanooga did point out that this was um, this one was wrong way round. Actually, they weren't the wrong way round. They were designed to get cars come in and around here and go away from this junction. But actually, I'm going to come with the idea that both of these should be removed outright and uh, maybe just replaced, like the other side, where they don't quite connect because it's getting to the point where the junctions that close to the main high street are a bad thing. Uh, to, so we'll get rid of them, basically. There we go, and we'll just make sure we put those bits. Oop, not that, not that tool, not that one. Put these bits back in place, just so they're uh, they can be used at that land that got actually taken out. There we go. Now, what was the other one? There was Miss Washington said, "Could you please rezone the bit in the middle that looks like a Tetris piece? Rezone the bit in the middle that looks like a Tetris piece." Um, I assume it's this area, but no. Unless it means they'll... I actually don't know which part you mean, Miss Washington. If you can be right, if you can give me a bit more advice, and it means this maybe. This was a planned expansion, which will be commercial anyway. Oh, why do we pause? Stop pause. There we go. But uh, if you, you have to let me know which one you meant in particular. Uh, these guys are all backed up because of this. This is backed up because of this. This is still a lot of backlog traffic. Hopefully we'll find out tomorrow if it works. Although you really should have been dealt with as well, shouldn't you, in the same way they are. Just slip it up there, slip it down there, maybe. Let's try it. Kill that. Kill that. Uh, fire station there. Okay. Ah! Sorry, I hit the uh, unpause button rather than the re relocate the fire station button. Let's put the fire station on this back road here, just because it makes more sense to get out of the way. Then we build a straight piece of road here where we accidentally took it back too far. Boom. And then just to the bendy road type, we go from there to there. Mm, we can't do that. Okay. It's snapping to the grid, isn't it? That's the problem. Snap it there. Can we ignore that part of the grid? No. It's too short. It's not... See, that one there's a snap. That means it will actually force a snapping. So let's try you. So I don't need to snap to those at all. They have to toggle off at these. Bing, 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 bing. Off. Let's see, you're still snapping to it though, aren't you? You're still snapping to it, and I said not to. Bad road. Bad road. You go there. Boop. And then you come from there. From there. You can't do that because of that. I think we can't do these side roads, unfortunately. So, because of that, we'll just back them back as they were. And just straight roads going straight up to the end there. Ooh, let's put the snapping back on, shall we? I, like, I do like the snapping on. It makes the rules look a little bit cleaner. There, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't forget to put the road back in first, otherwise it causes you problems in the long run, doesn't it? There you go. And that should hopefully... Actually, in reality, it's going to close a lot of traffic on those side roads anyway. <laughs> Alright, what we can do, actually, because remember I said any road turned as priority becomes a your bottleneck because of the stop roads, what we can do is this road here, make that a priority road, and make this one a priority road. That's a, that's a road. There we go. That means that these roads, these two roads, become they shouldn't never be stopped unless something gets in their way. So you can see here, this car's just zoom, 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 zoom. They're just moving a lot right now, and cars coming around the roundabout are actually being stopped to get through that junction. Same thing's happening here, which is actually causing us right now a bit of a problem, but it's a backlog we have to get rid of. It might be worth only having this road, that road over there, as a priority road right now. 
Because that road is having problems just because of that. There we go. And I think they're looking pretty good. It's, there's a lot more movement in the traffic right now. Yeah, look at that. It's already clearing down this road now. That's really good to see. And then as that clears down, this road just hopefully starts to clear down as well. And once that clears down a bit, actually I'm happy with the current level. We can have this one through the priority road as well. It does what I expected to do. This one I'm not going to keep relatively clear. The Coast Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Residents tsunami! should avoid roads and waterfronts. A tsunami has struck the city. All right. Take caution and avoid Ooh, roads and waterfronts until tsunami. the water recedes. Okay. Um, is that one? No. Get inside your houses, all thousand people. Yeah, we've got literally not enough. We have one building with a capacity of 1,000. And people are ignoring it. Well, the good news is the junctions mean people can move faster, but we need to invest in the emergencies right now. So emergency services, if I were to place down the bigger one here, which has a large thing, we got we have the money to spend on it. A large emergency shelter. And what's coming this way is so if we were to place this, we can't pl even place the thing. Uh, there? Yeah. If we place that there and pretend we had the time. Right, and then emergency services and the big broadcaster tower thingy magic. There. Boom. And we tell people, hey, we were telling you, we, we told you, get in there, look, look, get in there. Go, 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 go. Evacuate, evacuate, everybody in, everybody in. Go, 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 go. I have no idea how this is going to take. Let's speed it up a little bit. The water's actually, actually, it's not that bad of water, but I still feel that we should have been telling people to evacuate a little bit earlier. Uh, this one, on the other hand, wrong button. Uh, how many people got in here? 44, yes, people are actually getting in there. Good. People are coming in. We have a very short amount of cash right now. But this is a tiny tsunami anyway. It's not pushing it far up. In that case, let's turn off that. Uh, how many people got in there, by the way? No one's in there. They all came out. Okay, that's great. And uh, supplies are going up, which is good to see. Food supplies are going down, though. People are taking all the food. Yeah, that tsunami wasn't very tsunami has struck yeah, the city. We, we, we know. Take we know. caution and avoid roads and waterfalls so, until the water recedes. We have... That house there, which is flooding, which hopefully will the, go away. Hopefully will uh, go away once the water levels drop properly. The water levels are... Wait, it's getting nice. There it is. It's hitting the Bram area. Sorry, Bram, Ledger Island, but uh, you're underwater at the edge here. Ooh, that's going to be a bit problematic, isn't it? How are our power lines? Because they tend to get hit by this sort of stuff. Okay, I still think this is a vulnerability here. We want to sort out. But power goes there, power goes there, power goes there, power goes to there. We're pretty so I don't think we can have a power cable back here where no one's gonna notice it. That'd be a good idea. Power cable from there to there. Then we'll cut across the road. Go around the back of the main road here, just temporarily, because when we expand that way we'll have proper like, a tsunami has yeah, struck yeah, the yeah, city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take caution times, and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. And there we go. That's a back that's our backbone power cable. So where is that tsunami now? It is it's here. Okay. It is going to hit these houses by the look of it, but we'll find out where it gets to very, very, very shortly. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. It didn't do... It did... Okay, it hasn't fully receded yet. And all of our buildings on the course have gone. Well, that's annoying. We had a, we had a fair few buildings here that we, uh, we apparently have actually been destroyed. Hmm. Anyway, as it's going to appear, it's going to hit these houses on the edge. Interesting, it's going to hit the highway maintenance building. Oh, that reminds me how we've maintained us. Chad Tucker reminded me that the forest fire problem we have... Oh, you actually don't get coverage out here. Hmm, what a shame. The forest fire problem we have um, could only be solved by a fire helicopter depot. Not the uh, fire engines, that's why they don't put them out. So, ah. so in that case, I think we should put a fire station then. Maybe here? What do you think? Well, it's this little side road no one uses, and that gets us that little problem. Put it right up against that main road. Boom! Sorry, house, I thought I got past you. And they got water. And they're good. So there's a fire helicopter depot right in the middle of the old town. It should be able to do everything we need there. With all the trees are around it. Hopefully, it doesn't burn in the process. That is always a tsunami it. has yeah, struck yeah, the yeah, city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take caution and avoid roads and water. I'm pushing up a little bit more than I thought it was a push. Actually, given the ones down here, I thought it might hit these few and maybe not many of these. But it's actually pushing quite a lot further in than I thought it was going to do. 
I like the fact that the busting characters go through the water though, they don't actually care there's water there. Okay, there we go. And our tsunami problem has gone. Now, because we now know that tsunamis are a thing that happened in this particular map, we really should put a water um, boy out there. Unfortunately, our water supply is that piece there. Will it let me have one in there? Is the question. Tsunami boy. Oh, yes. Look at that. We can put one. I have no idea if it would even be effective. No, the water retreats. The boss retreated out. <laughs> oh. I was in the midst. There. Boom. <laughs> oh. Here's the question. Will that even be sufficient distance? I mean, does it have to be right out there? Or is that going to work? I honestly don't know. <laughs> oh. You see, you see it. It's oh, a bit. Okay. The disaster response building is once again on fire. On the good news, our helicopter is flying. <laughs> the disaster response building disaster response building spent more time on fire than not on fire. What are you, bus depot? Right, so is our uh, helicopters two helicopters in use? Hey, they should be around somewhere. Then there they are. Hello helicopter! Hang on, pause. You the disaster's gone now, so it's not a problem for pausing. There we go. There we go, look at that. Put the fire out, put the fire out. Na 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 Fire! Put the fire out. That's the theme song for the Hellie Fire Department. I like the fact they go to the water to pick up water. They don't just go back to the depot for the back. They actually go to the oceans or rivers, pick up a nice supply of water and go dump it on the fire. Go sludge and back we go! And then, come on, you get near the fire. And, fire! Yes. Excellent. Good work, helicopter man. Good work, helicopter. Good work, helicopter. Bye. Oh, a bit more there. Um, what the hell was about to get some fire? Anybody see irony in that? You got backed up again. D d Why are you? Oh, we got backed up because of this road being a weird one. Um, you are the main road, right? Is there, in, is there a. Can I get your name? Uh, road tool? Underground? No. Uh, I know what we'll do. We'll go you, and we'll go. Traffic management, and hopefully it'll be clicking that road somewhere. And there we go. Priority road! <laughs> and hopefully that'll do the job of making you a priority over the other ones. Go! No, apparently. And that kick. No, on the, on the road. It's probably the cat see the road. Ah! Give me that. Give me that road. Give me the junction tool. Junction tool. No stop sign for you. Why are you got stop signs? No stop signs for both of you. Stop signs. There we go. We have traffic flow. <clears throat> that means you get down here. This should hopefully flow a bit better when we get to here. Both of these roads are congested, but that's just kind of expected to some degree. Da, 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 you get a lot of flow. Um, I do think you should be off a priority road since you are causing congestion back here now because of you. But on the plus side, why are you getting stuck over you? Buses. This won't be a problem if you were if you use the entire bus area. Just saying, stop. Right. There we go. A lot of movement moving right now. A lot of movement moving. Yeah, that's the right word for it. You're clear. You're clear. I think the other road will just need to clear up now. We've changed that setting again. You're doing okay. And we're pretty good. All right. The entire episode has been doing one road and dealing with a tsunami that basically did no damage. Other than wiping out the uh, buildings down here, which really I would have thought that would have gone ages ago. Ah. I thought the water would have received ages ago. It's going down. There's not another one, is there? Uh, no. That part that Maybe it's because the water's coming off this land here and it's taking time to recede. Eh, uh, that could be it. Well, okay. Well, we got some buildings around here to build. Re rebuild. 
So, Brown Pleasure Island needs a rebuild of some of the things it lost. What, where would they be hidden? There they are. Um, we should tell which, which ones of these we already had in place, because I can't actually tell them. I think we did that one, that one, that way around. Which means that one's gone. Boop. And that one. There's more flooding water. Where's the flooding water coming from? Hey, it's a river. This should have been draining off hours, hours ago. I'll have to leave this a short while for it to fully settle on the water. That'll be fine. Are you doing fine? My little water... <laughs> yes, I see it sat on land right now. Does it say that not usable? It should say that. Um... Okay, that's another another tsunami coming in, isn't it? I can't really tell if it's dark, but at least it's a high tide coming through, at the very minimum. Are there multiples of these then? Hang on a minute, let's just see the water levels. The look level looks le oh no, it's not level. There's definitely a lump in the water there. Yeah, there's another tsunami on the way. It's uh, not hit yet, but I can physically see it. There it is. Look, we haven't had an alert. So, the next episode, wait for the tsunami to come. Until then, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.